Hello, you punk brat kids. It's not a great intro for a tutorial video. So I'm gonna show you guys some easy prepping with Superior Drummer by Tune Track. By Tune Track, okay. Uh, I talk about Tune Track all the time. I know, I know, I know. It's because I love them and they're awesome and uh, great people who work there. They have literally the best drum product you can possibly get. Um, I know for a fact, Noisia uses Superior Drummer. And this, just, this is just the default kit. Oh, sick drum solo, bro. I'm playing this on my keyboard. Super talented, right? Anyways, so they have all these, I have a few drum kits. I have uh, the New York Allier, the New York Avatar, when they just loads up different kits. And then I even have the Metal Foundry kit, which is like hella metal. You know, hella, hella metal. And they have like, you can get like Meshuggah's drum kit, which is like the coolest thing in the world, because Meshuggah is like the coolest thing in the world. And it's... There's me pounding on my drum set. Anyway, so we're gonna go to the, just the New York Alley R because it's a nice, simple kit. And they have all these different presets you can load. So we're gonna use a preset because the Superior Drummer has its own little mixing interface where you can like load in like a, if you want, you could load in like a kick drum, EQ5. You could like bump that up, you could bump that up, and then you could e you load up another EQ, and you could kind of cut the low end a little bit. There you go. And you can even, it even has like a, a transient shaper on there. Which is awesome. Uh, very important in the drum world. So we're just going to clear this. We're going to go to, uh, we're just going to load up a preset. Because that's an easy way to get started. Presets are great easy ways to get started. Um, I'm going to load up one called... Uh, we're just gonna load up the tune track one called Small Tight. And then it asks you what you want to load up, and you go, okay, whatever. Wow. As you can tell, the snare is all pitched up. We're not gonna use this one because I'm not feeling that so far, you know what I mean? Uh, we're just gonna have, we're gonna use the Dorseman and Thrall, and we're gonna use the Black Beauty. And we're gonna go, okay, sounds great. And they have a little bit, of, they have an EQ, a filter, and a compress auxiliary, and they have a, their own little set of stuff. So we're going to just run on the mixer window, and the logic, and I have it on multi-out, the superior mode. And right here, you're right underneath the, the S button for solo, you'll see a little plus. I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit two. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make an awesome sounding drum kit using only, only tune track products. Because I just want to show you how easy it is to get good drum sounds so fast and without a whole lot of knowledge of how to compress EQ and um, do whatever else you need to do to be an awesome drum producer. Because Tune Track pretty much does it all for you because they hired a bunch of professionals to make them awesome presets. So when someone hires a bunch of professionals, would you want to use your, your knowledge or the professional's knowledge? You know what I mean? And then once you get more comfortable with these, you can probably use your own plugins and whatnot. But I'm solely going to use my own plug or tune track plugins. That's the challenge, you punks, you punk brats. So, um, in Superior Drummer, sorry, I'm a great cameraman. I'm going to go ahead and select the kicks and go output 3, 4, and then the snares, and output 5, 6. So now, when you look down here, you have your kick, should be right here, and out to 1. Now it shows up a little bit here because the room mic. And your snare should be here. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go pick a simple groove. It also has like a, a, a whole bunch of MIDI files that you can use to make easily make songs and whatnot. So we're just going to go to, um, uh, we'll go to, I don't know what set to go to because every little set comes with its own um, fills and whatnot. And, like, Yeah, 
we're gonna go to pop rock. We're gonna use. We're just gonna. I'm just dragging him in there. Now we're gonna make a sick ass fill. Loop it in logic, and this is what we have. Now I'm going to go ahead and make one more plus down here, and I'm going to make just the, the 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 last auxiliary, the toms. We have uh, right tom, floor tom, floor tom two. And we're gonna go down to seven and eight. Now let's just so now we have it all separated out in logic. It's literally like actually like you have a real drum set going on. You can even bounce these out and then I don't know, bounce it out in the kicks and whatnot. If you like work with audio better than MIDI or whatever. So on my room, I'm gonna go to audio units, add easy mix. I'm gonna go ahead into the easy mix interface which is right there and let's actually take some time and bend my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing because this is supposed to be somewhat helpful now remember this is just using tune track products to show you how easy it is to get good ass sounds so we're just going to type a symbol let's see how this sounds we're just going to mute it out Now we're gonna kicks. Go to Easy Mix, type in kick. They're gonna have a bunch of them right here. They have it also, you can also listen by preset, pack, and producer. So we can look at like, let's let's go to like a metal one. So we can do we'll the metal one. Let's see That's super clicky, that's super, that's super metal. Now, these, there's a little bit of description right here. It tells you what these knobs do. Because each time there's shape and blend knob. Sometimes they don't shape and blend all the time. You know what I mean? It, you have to read the description because it tells you. This one says shape is EQ and the blend is attack. And it tells you what effects are on it. I'm going to go ahead and make the MIDI file. I'm going to make all the the kick drum sounds, I'm going to make them all the same velocity. I'm going to make them all the highest velocity. So without and with. Velocity these snare hits also. That's just preference though. Now open up easy drop, easy mix. Boom, there it is. 
pipe and snare. We're gonna look at the metal essentials. Now let's, load, now let's look at these toms. Now the toms are only in this spot, so we're just going to loop that spot. Easy mix. Tom. And you can just go to wherever it sounds right to you. That sounds fine to me. That's how easy it was. Now we have a drum, now we have a sick ass drum kit. Now, this is with Easy Mix. Now, without Easy Mix. With. Now how easy was that to make an awesome, awesome, awesome drum sound? And I, literally, I didn't use any Logic plugins. That's, that is literally drum mixing for dummies. But it's not a dumb way, because everything in here is made by, like let's see what kind of producers we got. We got Charles, Charles Feelgood, we got Mark Needleham, we got Daniel Brunsberg, we got Mantis E. Cloud, Chuck, and I can't pronounce any of these guys' last names. Um, but that was all using just Easy Mix and Superior Drummer presets. So that is literally, if you have no idea how to mix drums or anything, you could do that and you could survive. You could do that and you can get right on by. Now let's make a sick ass drum loop. Right? We're gonna go to 172 BPM because that's my favorite tempo to make drum and bass. And I'm just gonna make. Bounce in place. Let's see if it bounces the whole thing. I might even just bounce the room mic. No, it bounced literally the entire file. So now we have an audio version of it. And you could uh, so that's that's not the drum that I wanted to make. Let's make just a, a, a easy little drum. Now I'm just using this piece using for piano roll because that's how I like to program my, my drums. Shorten loop, bounce in place. Yes, here's our drum loop. Now, I could use Om Force and get in really in it, in it with on the side and whatnot and do some crazy glitching stuff, but just for the keep the whole thing the same, we're gonna use Easy Mix to use an effect. Now, basically, it also does it by type, and there's tons of SF.
crash in here, so we can always use the bit crash. Bit crash. Bit crash. songs where they have an intro that goes like this and we can use a quick stutter I like to do stutter with fades too makes it a little more clean I right, didn't do all of them and we'll do the last one have a slowdown So you can do that cool thing in movie or er, in songs where it's like So like for instance we could have we'll just throw in a loop to be just quick and easy. We'll have a uh, uh, an intense and we need a badass bass sound. These are just loops I'm dragging in. So now we can go. Point, just simple and sweet. Uh, tune track makes it very, very easy to get badass drum sounds using nothing but tune track products. So, for the biggest music noobs in the world, tune track should be the first place you should turn to to making sick stuff happen. So, that's my input for today, y'all. All right, so you know how I show you guys all my ideas. This is another idea I got going. A huge, really, really hip hop vibe going on. And I want to look at this, these bass, these 808 basses. I'm going to show you how I can mix them too. So the bass is my melody and bass. And then there's a vocoder channel with the the awesome uh, logic little thing that makes everything sound real weird. And this is a layer. And then we have the vocoder layer and the straight layer bounce down and then just a boost of a good old right almost over a k any hertz over a k 1200 hertz 1200 hertz kurtz mertz per dirts and then just a peak and then just both cut and how this sounds is like this but this one's not as loud and then they're all heavily side chained to this ghost kick, which has no output except for bus, and bus has no output either. So, which for like the more hip hop feel of this track, I feel like it makes it glitchy better and gives it more space. And 
got my 808 kits. Number one hits, they have the, the tune kicks. Tune them all out. And then I have a easy mix sub kick on it. Then it's bus to an aux with just the sub bass bass booster preset on it. And that pumps. Whoa, there's a peak in there. There we go. I don't know why I see it before. <coughs> Using um, uh, this I don't know this is a sick kick I made in a it's resampled from a superior kick I might post that I might post that sample and you guys can use it in your tracks Well, that was very cool. Filming Susan stand there while I play that in her ear. <laughs> well, tomorrow you have your dental appointment. Oh, God. Pull up in the old school top lit back. Pull up, pull up in the old school top lit back. Pull up in the old school top lit back. Pull up, pull up in the old school top lit back. Pull up in the old school top lit back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah.